Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Stephen King book review. And if you're sitting there going, hey, he's reviewed all of Stephen King's books up until this point, you are drastically wrong. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm actually speaking for myself because I thought I had, and I'm missing about 50 reviews. The Thursday Theorists and all of the newer content from Sleeping Beauties onward. Uh, I have reviews for those, but I don't have reviews for a lot of them. So today we are starting with... The Stand, the original edition. It's like 800. Let's see here. I'm gonna go through here real quick. 817. Let's see here. 823 pages long. So this version of The Stand is much, much shorter than the 1994, I believe it was, reissue that incorporated all of the stuff that Stephen King had to cut, Doubleday made him cut, because they simply could not produce a book of that length at that time. Another thing to note is, this is a first edition of the book, and it is considerably smaller than other, it's not a book club edition, um, it is the same size as a book club edition, but when his first four or five books were released, I'm talking about Carrie, Salem's Lot, The Shining, The Stand, and Night Shift, all of those books, Doubleday didn't really have a whole lot of confidence in him, so they released them in the same size as the book club edition, and the only difference was of course, they, one of them one of them was marked book club edition, but this is the story of the survivors of a disease uh, called Captain Trips. It has been adapted twice, both times miniseries. The first one, I believe, was Mick Garris. The second one, one of the show leaders was Josh Boone. Um, numerous people worked on the uh, the the most recent one, um, but Josh Boone was one of the uh, the showrunners. Now. Uh, the, the story for me works for the most part up until they get to Boulder. Um, my only, I still give this book five stars, but you know me, I'm all about the criticism. So by the time it gets to Boulder, I really get tired of, of reading about the, the reconstruction, the rebuilding of society. Um, I much prefer the, the stuff in Las Vegas during that time frame. Uh, the main antagonist here is Randall Flagg, who is all throughout the Dark Tower series. I've already done my Thursday Theorist uh, for this book. I did it quite some time ago. So Randall Flagg is bringing on, well, I don't know that he brought it on, but um, he is uh, amassing a group of, of bad guys um, to wage war on Boulder, uh, where the Co Boulder, Colorado, where Mother Abigail and all of the other good survivors, the protagonists of the story, are are gathering, um, and then they rebuild society. But uh, my only criticism about this book is that section of the book. Um, now, talking about characters, uh, my favorite character in this book is Nick Andros, um, Tom Cullen is second on that list and their interactions are my favorite parts of the book. I'm not going into spoiler territory, I don't want to go into spoiler ter territory here, but if you would like a spoiler review of this book, let me know. Also, the reason I'm redoing these review, well not redoing, doing, finally doing video reviews, all of my written reviews are up on Goodreads, but I want these reviews on the channel also. Um, and it, I, I, I want to make very clear that yes, this is, these are old books. Also, I'm not a huge fan of Old King. I know that's crazy. Some of my, I, I would say pre-80s King and some of the 80s stuff also. But I'm a much bigger fan of his work now. Um, and I also like the extended edition better. The reason for that is most of, I think all of the content concerning the kid, uh, Trash Can Man, and you know, the kid is absent from this version of the book. Uh, there's there's a lot of great content in here, especially the traveling sections at the beginning when the when Captain Trips is wiping everything out. Um, a standout section is, of course, the tunnel, one of my favorite parts of the book. Um, then later on, when they're road tripping again, where the when the good guys are traveling to Las Vegas to have the to to stand, you know, to have the final standoff. Um, that was a huge, uh, uh, that was another favorite part of mine. Um, but the book is never as good as the beginning. 
Um, and that's, of course, my own subjective opinion. And the ending, it can be said that the ending of the book is phoned in and it's just a huge duess machina. Um, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. I try to stay away from that term because of that. But uh, uh, it can say that it, it was phoned in or that it it did not it, it didn't fit with everything else. It can be said that it does fit because of the huge uh, theme of religion circulating throughout the book. I personally don't like the ending. I know many people do, but me personally, I do not like the ending. Um, th but that's not to say that this book isn't amazing. Um, the book is great. It is a feat to behold that he was able to make the book interesting throughout the entirety of it. Um, this this one, I will be reviewing the uncut version when we get to it. I plan on going in order um, across here. Uh, but if you have not read this, and it doesn't matter what kind, what genre you like, because all the genres are in here. You have horror, you have uh, love and romance, you have damn near anything you can possibly think of, even some science fiction, and even some fantasy in the uh, in the sections where they're all dreaming. Um, so you have some surreal aspects, some real aspects, but where King shines is he always balances the surreal aspects with the you know, what? what is it, the corporeal aspects, the real life aspects. Um, and this is a fantastic book. Um, it's not one of my favorites, but it is a fantastic book. And I highly recommend that you read it um, if you have not, or reread it if you want to. Um, I'm not sure if I have the time for this or not, but I've been thinking about this for a long time, reading the original version and reading the uncut version back to back or at the same time and finding all the differences. I'm hoping all that will be included in the Cemetery Dance uh, Double Day Gift Edition that I'll be receiving at some point in time. They're so slow with these things. But if you guys want to see me do a side by side comparison to the original version, this one, and the 1994. Uh, uncut version, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Um, also, let me know whether or not you love this book, whether or not you hate it, whether or not you felt meh about it. I'd love to hear from you, but tell me why you felt that way about the book so that we can have a discussion. Until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another Stephen King review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!